I've been following you for a while now. I am just about to build a semi-commercial system. Can you please give me some feedback on the system I'm planning to have? The School of Aquaponics. Okay, so we have the design here. We're gonna go through it, see what needs to be corrected, what's good about it, um, what can be changed, and what can stay the same. So let's give a basic overview of this system here. So we have our pumps. We have two pumps here that are coming out of a deep water culture system that is acting as a sump tank and uh, a plant production area. It's coming off both pumps and they're both going separate directions, um, coming over to these IBC totes. Um, and there are uh, six of these IBC totes that have a bottom drain that are then connected to radio flow filters. We have two of them there. Then they go into a screen filter and then into a biological filter with K1 media. Then they come out and then they go into these flood and drain grow beds. And then they eventually all come back into the um, hydroponic area um, of the uh, deep water culture system. So you want to play this game at the highest level. You want to get ready to, tr you want to transition into the big league. So I'm going to give you the honest feedback on the system. And the honest feedback is this whole thing needs to be redone. I'm going to be honest with you. That's just my honest opinion. You're going to spend a lot of money um, trying to practice and get yourself up to the big leagues. And I don't, I would not want you to spend money on this design here. I'm going to be completely honest. If you know, I'm not trying to hurt feelings or anything like that, but um, I'd rather hurt a little bit of feelings than have you hurt a whole uh, big piece of your pockets. So that's just the honest truth there. Um, you're transitioning over into the big league. So um, this type of system here works on a backyard, a backyard hobbyist type of level. This does not transition over into the big leagues. I see exactly what you're doing. I know exactly the concept you're you're, you're, you're working on. Now, if this was just a system just for you wanting to feed your family or whatever, then you wouldn't get a hard criticism. It would be, okay, this is fine. I see exactly what you're doing. This thing would work, but this doesn't transition. It doesn't, it just doesn't transition over. So I'm going to be honest with you on that. So let's start with the pumping area. You have two pumps coming out of the, um, of the deep water culture system and they're both coming out and they're, then they're separating um, and then going to their respective area with, with the tanks on each side. You don't need two pumps for this. You don't have enough water volume in here that there's not a l one pump large enough to supply the um, the pressure and the, the, the water volume that you need. So you just hook one pump up, uh, save all this extra piping, and then you would just come down and you can split the flow uh, going to each side. And that would easily take care of that problem. Um, as far as these IVC tanks here, I would not get these. This is not something that I would practice with. These are good for like fingerlings and small hatchery uh, uh, type fish, uh, fry and stuff like that. But this is not going to work um, if you have like uh, aquaponic stocking uh, density, fish stocking density, half pound per, per gallon of uh, water maximum. This is not going to work for that. The, the solids removal is going to be poor. And that's the, one of the main things that's going to kill fish in, um, in moderate to high density stocking uh, density um, uh, systems is poor solids removal. So you're not going to really get good solids removal out of these systems. What I would suggest you do, if you haven't bought these yet, if you haven't bought these yet, I would not buy any of these and I would get an aquaculture tank. I would get an aquaculture circular tank um, to begin uh, practicing with. And then from there you can build up and all you can always add more as you get more income. You can all add more and then add more and add more into the system. So you're not just limit it to just having one. You could take the money that you would get to this, get uh, that you would use to spend on buying these, and I, I'm pretty sure you can find you an aquaculture tank, or aquaculture, yeah, an aquaculture tank that would um, house the amount of water that, that you need, because this is, these are not gonna, um, these are not gonna do you any good if you're practicing this way, and then when you go and try to build a commercial system, it's gonna be vastly different than, than how you've been practicing. So I would definitely invest in the right, um, in the right equipment. I would, even if it means smaller fish tanks, that's what I would do. Even if it means that. So that's one thing that I would definitely, definitely do is to do that because, you know, like I said, these aren't gonna cut it. Um, and then you have them going to the radio flow filter. You have two of them here. There's no need for you to have two radio flow filters here um, because if the solids didn't settle out from the first radio flow filter. 90% chance they're not settling out from the next radio flow filter this, because there's solids settle off of density. The density compared to uh, the density of the solid in comparison to the density of the water. If that solid is not dense enough and the, and the flow rate is too fast and it's not going to settle out just because it went to the next 
um, radio flow filter. Uh, it's not going to settle out. So you really don't, you really don't need do two of these. You can just use one larger one or just get rid of the other one because it's not really going to serve you any purpose, not too much of a purpose. Um, then you can go to your uh, screen filter. I'm not sure um, the micron size of this screen filter, so I really don't have any comment on it, but it could be something that could potentially work. Um, or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know the specifics on it, so I really don't have too much to comment on that. But then it's going to the K1 Media. This here, you you wouldn't need. In this setup, you wouldn't need this at all. This is this is just a waste of um, of space here. You would not need this at all. You have plenty of um, surface area um, for nitrification to take place. Plenty of it on this media here, and even on the um, the underside of the deep water culture system rafts. Plenty of it to supply this system. Now, the biggest thing that I would change in this whole equation is these flood and drain systems. These have to go. These have to go. They're, they're, they're going to do you more harm than they are going to do, uh, than they are going to help. You could easily just replace those and you could have kept the same style going because you said you're growing leafy greens. If you're growing like tomatoes or something, we have an argument. You got an argument that, that to keep them. But as far as growing leafy greens, they, they, this has to go. This has to go, especially on this large of an area. Um, it's gonna, like I said, it's gonna do you more harm than it is gonna help. All you have to do is you could have kept your same, um, the same design as a with the um, deep water culture system. You could just place that on top, and then that'll be fine right there. It'll grow your leafy greens and without any problem. But this media bed here, the flood and drain, is like I said, it's just gonna cause you more problem than it is uh, gonna help. And the extra mineralization that it provides is not worth the labor um, required uh, to, to put into this to get the results that you can easily get with another type of system. It's just not worth it, in my opinion. In my opinion, it's not worth it. The flood and drain thing, you know, that's, those things are great for the backyardist and the hobbyist um, that are playing at that level, but not at the God level. This is not, this is not gonna cut it. I'm telling you right now. I mean, you can always, you can do it. Listen, people are gonna do whatever they wanna do. People, you know, so, uh, you know, I'm not going to I'm not here to, to make somebody not do it, but you're going to end up learning that you shouldn't have done it. If it's for leafy greens, it's not even worth it at all. So that's the biggest thing that I would change. I would just I would change that into a deep water culture system or an NFT system or something along that line. And that'll suit you a bit better than doing these media bed, the flood and drain uh, media beds. But overall, you got the plumbing concept pretty much down. Um, you need to, you, we can utilize the space a little bit better than this. Um, with these tanks being so spread apart, we could have brought these closer. We could have grouped these together, um, and along with, uh, adjusting the plumbing, uh, from the pump that that's pretty much the main things that need to be, um, redone, um, and, and, and redesigned. But, and, and I would just re, like I said, replace these, um, media beds with deep water culture systems. Um, and then that's pretty much it. You can pretty much keep it, you know, the same setup, similar to this, um, not, you don't really have to change too much other than that, but the, like the tanks, um, the media bed, get rid of a radio flow filter, uh, get rid of the K1 media, and that's pretty much it. Then you will have a better design. I would like for you to do this, redo a design, and then send it back with um, something updated because I, I'm just, you know, I wouldn't approve this one. You can go and do it, but I, this, this wouldn't get the approval on a commercial level. This would not get the approval on the backyard level. I'll give you the thumbs up, not on a commercial level or not even practicing. As soon as you tell me that you're practicing for the highest level, then, then I'm, I, you don't get the same benefit as people who submit a, a, a design that is going to do it for just a hobby or for the home. It's not the same thing. Not the criteria is different. So that's the reason why it's coming off like this. But you, I see that you understand the plumbing, you understand that you understand the, the, the sequence in which the, the, uh, the, the components go. You understand that, which is fine. And all that stuff is works out. We just need to rearrange a few things and change a few things. And then I, then I think you'll be on your way once you do that. So that's all I had to say on that. And hopefully, um, this feedback is, you know, doesn't hurt feelings or anything like that, but it's just the way it is. <laughs>